Green Plain. This evening, we welcome home 1993 Gay Spring graduate and class of 2023 NFL Hall of Fame inductee, Ron Day Barber. He has a few family members with him this weekend to recognize his mother, Geraldine Barber, sister Sharon Brickhouse Martin, sister Janice Anderson, brother-in-law Donald Anderson, and niece Karen Martin, as well as several other uh, friends and colleagues. Ronde's football journey started here in the K-Spring area, playing football for the K-Spring Rec Program, Hidden Valley Junior High, and K-Spring High School. While attending K-Spring High School, Ronde set records and earned all state and national honors in football and track and field. In 2014, Ronde was inducted into the Virginia Sports Hall of Fame. Ronde continued his football journey playing for the University of Virginia, where he earned ACC Rookie of the Year and was first team all ACC selection each of his three seasons as a Cavalier. In 1997, Ronde was drafted by the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. In his 16 years with the Bucks, Ronnie played in 241 regular season games, setting an NFL record of 215 consecutive starts at cornerback, 224 if you're counting the playoffs. He has the distinction of being the only defensive back since the AFL-NFL merger in 1970 to start every game for 13 consecutive seasons. Rondi finished his career with 47 interceptions and 28 sacks, leaving him as the only player in NFL history with at least 45 and 25, respectively, in those categories. He's the NFL's all-time sack leader for cornerbacks. Rondi totaled 88 tackles for loss and scored 14 defensive and special teams touchdowns. He was named All-Pro three times, selected to five Pro Bowls, and is a member of the NFL's All-Decade team, of the 2000s. This evening, we recognize our hometown Hall of Famer, Rondé Barber, with a bronze plaque that will be hung here in Bogle Stadium. The plaque will serve as an inspiration for all players now and in the future that they too can dream big. At this time, K-Spring Representative Mike Ray will present a resolution from the Rhoda County School Board acknowledging this tremendous accomplishment.